would you have me do, Caesar? I want you to become the protector of Rome after I die. And Commodus? Commodus is not a moral man. Commodus cannot rule. He must not rule. Hey everyone, Dr. Savro Salvatis here. How do we inject meaning into our stories? Do we even care over and above our writing a rollicking good tale? Well, we should care, and here's why. Many writers do have a theme or moral premise in mind prior to commencing the writing of their stories. For example, that unchecked technology leads to destruction, or that greed and a lust for power lead to corruption and death. These sorts of writers have the theme or moral premise drive their stories in a specific direction from the get-go. They understand that character action and its consequences deliver the writer's judgment on the characters. But what about those who write from the seat of their pants, so to speak? Those who haven't thought about the theme or moral premise at all, choosing instead to concentrate on the surface layer of their tale, its plot. Well, the truth is that meaning will arise whether they intend it or not, by virtue of what happens to the characters who espouse specific views and values. Here's what I mean. If, say, our hero, a man who stands for courage, self-sacrifice and honour in pursuit of justice, manages to defeat the antagonist who stands for, let's say, greed, debauchery and a lust for power, then you as the writer are saying that the pursuit of justice and honour ultimately triumphs over greed, debauchery and the lust for power. In Gladiator, for example, Maximus pursues justice by seeking to revenge his family's brutal murder at the behest of Commodus. Commodus is a weak, corrupt and ruthless man who murders his own father. <laughs> As if that's not bad enough, he pursues acts of incest with his own sister, threatening to harm her son if she fails to comply. Clearly, this is a man who is rotten to the core. Nonetheless, Maximus manages to defeat Commodus before succumbing to his wounds. His actions prove the theme or moral premise of the story that courage, self-sacrifice and honour in pursuit of justice can defeat greed, corruption and the lust for power. Imagine, however, if in search of more drama, you as the writer had Maximus die at the feet of Commodus. The moral premise of the story, its very meaning would then be something like greed, debauchery and the ruthless pursuit of power defeats courage, self-sacrifice and the search for justice. You would be saying that the world is a place where the ruthless and self-serving win, a godless world devoid of transcendent values. Now if that's what you mean to say as a writer, well and good, it's your story after all. But if you haven't thought about the ending of your story as the place where the final clash occurs, and not just the physical clash, but the clash over competing values, then you risk saying something you might not have intended. Like a ship without a rudder, your story could end up on the rocks. To sum it all up then, the meaning of a story is coiled up inside its theme or moral premise. Importantly, it manifests through the words and actions of warring characters who represent conflicting values. In the words of Lagos Egri, the winner of the final battle proves the theme. Knowing this from the start will ensure that your story delivers its meaning as intended. Well, that's it for now. If you learned something from this video, consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons and leaving a comment to share your thoughts and to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.